Hello everyone, and welcome to our first episode of our new modded survival series. Today, we are playing the Direwolf 20 pack, and we are going to get right into the punching of the woods. While we're doing this, we're going to talk a little bit about what I've done before we started here. Um, I took a fly around, you can see from our map here, kind of scouting out the area to make sure it was going to be fairly decent for the series. I am very particular generally when I choose to build my homes as to where they go. So once we get done with building, we will get some mining done after our first little base and safe place is done. And then I'll probably do quite a bit of mining off camera, just that way you guys don't have to sit and watch through the boring parts. Um, so by episode two, we should be somewhere along the lines of getting into actually doing things. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to cross the desert over here. And once we're across there, there is a cherry blossom something biome. Ooh, and we'll kill a chicken. Come here, chicken. Don't run away. Don't go into the sludge. Oh. Well, something is going to kill a chicken. I guess it's not us, though. So we will continue on and journey across the vast desert. It's very disappointing that the chicken died, but nothing you can really do about it. What are these? Squid plants. Pneumatic craft. Those may be useful. There are quite a few mods that I am not super familiar with in this pack. Um, the pneumatic craft, I think it was just called, is definitely one of those. So there's going to be a lot of learning to do. And I'm sure anyone that views this will be able to help me out with some of that. You even got some lava here. Sweet. Get some blaze powder from these. And, ooh, that was pretty. Grab one of those. So we'll head up here. And propel ourselves up. We're going to need food pretty soon, uh, which is probably going to be our first priority this episode after we get towards that area, although it seems like we have just stumbled across our food. So grab all this. While it's not the best source of food, it is a very good one for at least the early game. And then I know the berry meals that go in the bowls can be fairly filling. So we'll grab some of this. We got five mallow berries. Eat these up. And then we'll grab some of this wood. Let's make a crafting table. And now we can make some sticks. We'll make an axe. Oops. All right, so now we have an axe. This should go a little bit faster here. We don't need the whole tree, but it's definitely good standards to cut down a whole tree when you're going to do it. It's not fair to other people on servers and things like that when you just leave the tree sitting there like it is currently. Uh, that's why we're going to cut this whole thing down. Now, 
after this, I'll kind of show you on the map here real quick. Wrong map. We're going to head up here a little bit. I think there was a witchery thing here and here. There might have been Thomcraft ones. Um, so I'm not 100% sure on that. But we will go check those out here in a couple minutes. Witchery is another mod that I really have not done a whole bunch with, as I know they have been recently added with this last, I think in 1.6.4, it's the current version we're on, I think it's that version of mod packs that have been adding that mod in. Um, I've seen a lot of people play with the mods, but I've not actually watched full playthroughs and what you can actually do with it. I know there's something about uh, voodoo dolls and things like that. So just a little bit more of the wood here. And then once that's all chopped down, we can start heading to the new area. Okay. Nerd pole up here. Uh, looks like we're just short. Ah, there's more above it. Okay, well, we'll move a little bit closer here and take care of that last little bit. Can we reach it from here? No. As it dawns on a new night. Chop down our nerd pole here. As we were not that high. I think there's one more log to grab, and then we can head out. So I'm pretty excited for this Let's Play. Um, it's going to be the first one that I actually get to play most often. Um, I'm going to do a few other games on the channel, probably see about two or three videos a week. My work schedule is going to be changing up a little bit. Um, most likely here in the near eh, first couple weeks, but after that we should get set to a pretty stable work schedule. I'll grab this workbench here. Uh, that sword's going to be pretty important, I feel, as we make our way over to this herd of cows. Hello, dinner. Thank you for your beef. Remember the cows, the ones that let us live through the night. We have plenty repulsion plant. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Skelly. Run! Kill the pig. Ow. Go away, skeleton. Alright, got a few arrows from that too. Kill this other pig. And this third pig. Ooh, frog hat. Now, where was it that we were headed? We were gonna head straight up here. Because no matter which of those two the things on the map are, whether it's the witchery, um, they're not strongholds, but the uh, structures. No matter which one of those two it is, it's gonna be a little bit past what we're able to deal with right this second. Ooh, that one's the Thumbcraft one. Although it looks like we might just have to pass by it here and... Oh gosh! Uh, 
Alright, so we need to eat some food real quick before we die here. My mistake on that fall, but once we get some regen here, we'll go out there and kill that zombie. Grab some of this pork here too. And we will have at the zombie. I wonder... Aha! I hear another. Oh! We have lots of friends tonight. And I hear another zombie. It's alright. Gain some experience here. Although there is another on his way. So let's dig into the wall here a little bit. We will place down our crafting bench. Make a little bit more of this wood. And then we'll make a pickaxe. Get ourselves some cobble and make a little bit better of a sword. Yeah. Don't use pickaxe on dirt. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, that was not great, but. We lived through it. So we'll place that there. And now we'll grab some cobble. I wish. Let me make sure the brightness settings are up for you guys. Alright, so now. Grab a little bit more of this cobble. Make a new sword. And now we can fight our way out of here. It's more than uh, I guess we'll eat some of the beef. Okay. We seem to be at least reasonably safe for now. Let's kill off some more of these pigs. And try and stay away from the spawner for now. Grab our crafting bench and carry on. Okay, that's not good. Ah, we got him. I feel like there's one fairly close to us, though. Although that pig's wearing a Zelda hat. Where did you go, zombie? Okay, so we're kind of in the area here now that I really wanted to be in for starting our first basic base. Um, later on, we will actually be getting into a bigger base than just the starter one, and we will end up moving locations, but this one, I don't think we're safe right here. Um, this one seems pretty decent of an area to at least make the starter. There's a beehive up there, so... Let's... I guess we'll use up some of this eucalyptus... Oh god. Zombies. 
making things difficult for the first episode. So this first episode is probably going to be a little long, but we'll deal with it and we'll get back out. I feel like that was a skeleton. Hopefully we'll get to daytime here very shortly. That way we do not have to deal with all these monsters. Now I know most people go into hiding and things like that, uh, but I prefer to just keep going. So I'm going to build a basic base here and then once that is done I will be right back. So we're going to build it and make it a little bit pretty and add some chests and stuff. But I'll be right back. Alright, so we are back. We got some pork chops cooking up to give us a total of 18 pork chops. I made a chest to put all our books, like what's new, these, all our grow things, like seeds and trees. Got a little bit of copper ore, got a few glass panes. Um, there were, there's 16 in here, but I misplaced one, so I had to go get some more sand. Um, I grabbed some quarried stone, which I'll show you where we got that from, and I placed all of our mallow berry bushes. Uh, here is our quarried stone that I grabbed from. There's some more over in that direction over there. Uh, and this is just our first little basic house. Um, as you can see, I've got some stone tools. I started digging down a little bit here just to get some stone. I'm actually going to light this up a little bit more. That way you can see. And then I did a little bit of adventuring to see what type of caverns and things like that we have in the area. We do have one that I'm going to show you here in a moment that looks like it's got quite a bit of coal which is one thing we've kind of been lacking um, I've just been smelting up some not planks but the actual wood itself and making coal that way or charcoal so we're gonna put our seeds and water artichoke seeds the rotten flesh in here. And we're gonna go check out that other place right as night is falling. You can see I placed a few uh, torches around the area. One to keep us able to find it at night, but two to keep away some of the mobs. So we're gonna go over here real quick. Take a look at that cavern that I found without falling and hurting ourselves. We've got a nice witch wood supply over there too, so. Um, it goes pretty deep. Don't want to get flung off here, but yeah, it looks like it's going to have plenty of supplies for us. Um, the thing I'm mostly interested in right now is this coal right here. So we're going to grab this coal and we'll probably head back. Got a nice little vein of it here. Oh. Grab this here. Is that a s nope. Infused stone. Um, there is a small little cave right there. It's got a little bit of coal, but not very much else. It doesn't go very deep. So that one's not really too worth exploring. Um, here's zombies. Like down here? Maybe they're down there. Um, yeah, we'll grab these last couple here. Uh, not going to try and get after that. I don't know if we dropped any down there. Um, and then copper we can grab later. Um, it's not something that's too urgent right this second. We'll need it for creating some of our earlier machines, but past that, 
we're going to go ahead and just head back. I'm going to show you guys one other thing I found, and then I think we're going to cut it there for the episode. Um, yeah, I'll show you here a little bit in this cave. So we got one of the earth infused stones, some copper, some uh, amber, but not much else. I'm going to try and make sure I keep all the areas lit up for you pretty well. Um, while we're here, we we'll might as well grab all this coal. But I do know one thing with the YouTube channels, if you don't light things up enough, people can't see. So that, that's definitely something I'm going to make sure to keep working on, because I definitely tend to not place torches as often as I should. But we have quite a bit of coal now. I'm not going to worry about the little bit over there, as we have plenty for this moment. We're going to head back towards the base that we started. And as I mentioned earlier, I will do some mining off camera that we, we can get into the interesting parts in episode 2. Um, if we avoid... Well, I guess we're not going to avoid him. Um, take care of this creeper. And you are now. Well, either way, he's dead. Uh, I think it was over here. Yeah. We've got some aluminum gravel ore. But more importantly, ta da! We have a rubber tree. So we'll start while well, I'm off camera and taking some time. I'll start getting some rubber from that and making sure that we've got some supplies to get into that extra heavy duty and resources and we'll just make our first machines in the next episode so that's it for today guys I'm calling it there and we will see you next time don't be afraid to leave a like or a comment bye